four gallons of water and we run for about two hours with this uh, this machine. Now this uh, is a geo high banker and that isn't what makes it work. Uh, what makes it work is that bigger tub and we're running an 1100 gallon per hour pump, one pump. Now I've not gone up to anything bigger, I don't know if it'll work with anything big, but it works with this. And what I've done now, I've got a new uh, filtering system, we'll call it. Uh, it's um, not what you think, uh, like uh, a friend of mine, Alan's uh, gold mining, he has a sand filter and all that, and again, it's really hard to get something like that to where we go. So what I've come up with, and I've used this before in the past, I haven't used it with this machine yet. This is a uh, three-gallon bucket, and in this bucket, let me look here, have you look inside, these holes here, are on the inside they're two and a half inch holes and there are six of them and then what I did on the outside took one piece of screen and wrapped it all the way around the outside of this bucket because the pumps gonna be sucking inside the bucket through these screens and your debris should hang up here on the screen so it isn't gonna be pushing it out away it's gonna be sucking through this and that's plenty of flow area, I think. And just to make sure we don't get anything debris going in and plugging our jets or plugging the pump, I've now got my pump hooked up this way. Uh, this is an aluminum plate on the back. And it, it bolts to the bottom of this pump. Uh, this pump will come in the bucket and hook like yo. Wires come out, go to the battery. So now, that pump is sitting about the center of this hole. So it can constantly draw through that hole. And you know, this bucket will start out full to start with. Well, not quite full. I guess it'll be the height of that tub, which is 8 plus inches. So it's going to have plenty of water, I'm, I'm thinking. And that should take care of the debris problem. And if it doesn't, uh, I used to have a strainer that I'd used, and I uh, broke it or lost it or something, so went to Walmart, and I think this was a dollar and eighty cents, and it's what you catch. If you have uh, fish in a fish tank, this is how you take them out of there and, I don't know, throw them in the pan and eat them. I don't know why you would do that, but I don't have fish, so. But anyhow, you would just use this to scoop in your tub, you know, to take the debris off that's floating on the water like so, do that and knock it off. So th that's a couple of things you have to do to do this and we're going to set this up shortly and, and get this one running. Um, I think if this works out like I think it's going to work out, this is going to be really good because all you need with uh, besides that is a little jet dry in your water, a little bit and don't overdo it like I do and there's some flocculant that you can get on Amazon or at Geosluice, one of the, either one. Uh, they both work pretty good. And um, I'm thinking uh, for 12 gallons of water, you know, I've got all kinds of water containers. Uh, these are, these two here are 15s and they fit in the back of the side-by-side. -side. These three here are all 7s and they fit in the back of the side-by-side -side. so I can easily carry that much water you know uh, if I go uh, 14 gallons or 12 gallons I can run a good part of the day and we can dump the water out of the, of the tub and after we get the new water put it in the tub and, and keep going the rest of the day so we could run a whole day so anyhow let me uh, get away from this and um, we'll get this thing fired up hopefully tomorrow but we're supposed to get this uh, monster rainstorm coming through and uh, oh yeah this is the other thing I did to I think will solve my problem with the water off the back I sealed the size side of the punch plate and got it so I'm still up against this but I've got 
my sluice at uh, I think I'm at five and a quarter and I can still drop it and make it faster so on the front so I think that's going to help we'll see what happens uh, tomorrow or the next day got a bunch of new stickers in I didn't show you uh, Bill's Trash and Treasure, Banshee Mining, Living Room Panther let's see I don't know if I did this side before or not but we'll do it again uh, Benzo Bonanza, Tortiga Luce, uh, Lisa, Secret Creek Let's see, I can't remember what's on the front. Oh, GNS Prospecting, My Sticker, and A3 Sky Warrior. On the other side, I almost knocked the thing over, is AM Prospecting. And I think I showed, didn't show you this last time. I spoke it, but I didn't do it. So, and this is Southern Relics right here. CNR Treasures and Nugget Shooter. If you. They're into metal detecting, that's the place to go. Nugget shooter. Alright, no sense going out getting wet right away. So this is uh, a sample from our claims, I believe. It's dry as can be. You can see it's dusting out and everything. Uh, I have no idea what's in that. It was a, a test from one of the claims. And uh, so we'll see later uh, if there's gold in this at all. But it's going to be just a test of what I've done to this machine to make sure it's going to flow okay. So I'll be back. Hey guys, so this video is all about recirculating. So we got the Geo High Banker all set up. We got the, the, the till and concentrate bucket set up. And we got the pump. Under there, we don't have water in here yet. We got our handy dandy fish screen. We got the switch in line here. And it goes from the pump over here to the group 27. Battery that I have sitting on wood that helps keep the charge in the battery if it isn't on the concrete. I uh, got the jet dry and the flocculent right there. So I think we got our bucket here that's kind of a stand for our material. And all I need is water. And I'd like to hire somebody to go out and get water and bring it in, but uh, I guess that isn't going to happen. I'll be back. Hey guys, the jet dry's in, the flocculent's in. That all good. I've now changed from a little over 5 degrees to about 8 degrees. Uh, I also had to do this. I had to put our Washington Beach Mining Build Pump Control in again. Uh, to run that 1100 wide open, it, it's just too much flowing over the back of the pump. Left handed. Now I'm only about uh, half 50% on, uh, on my pump controller. I don't know if you can see that. It's the uh, little red knob there. It's about 50, maybe 60 percent. So this is even at this low angle. This is cleaning out well up there. Still losing tons of water here, which is we're gonna have to figure out what to do with that. You can see the material catching here. There is black sand in this stuff. These are the two top ripples. Not sure. I'll have to check and see where this came from, but I know it's one of our claims. So. Okay, let's run some left-handed dirt here. That's me running left-handed. Let's go a little bit closer for you. And you'll see how well that runs off, even at this low speed. I'm really impressed with that. I am not impressed with this back here yet. Not sure how to correct that. Another. He's cleaning out good. All the way down. Cleaning out the upper hopper. I'm letting these rocks build up here with the hopes of diverting that water a little bit. Unsuccessfully, by the way. 
Now this is only about probably a gallon of material of the two gallon bucket. So you can see how this is still washing here. And then still only a little over 50%, but you can see here water is everywhere from off this pump plate. And I've got to figure out something to do with that if I'm ever going to recirculate, which I plan on. As cold as the, uh, I'm sorry, as wet as the desert is, I don't know what else we can do. And I don't see any sign of it drying out anyway soon. So that's going well. This is going well. And that little pump's on there just working away. And see these, the water level is actually lower. I'm probably only about 12 gallons of water in here. And we're, we're flowing well, the pump's staying, staying good, the pump. Because the holes are below the height of the tub. So I'm really happy with that, that works good. The, uh, my left-handed stuff isn't working here. Another little hint here guys, what I did was, I'm, I haven't changed anything up here or on the pump plate, and we're still dripping pretty good, but I changed to this five gallon Lowe's bucket. Uh, it catches better than the, the Borner tub here, just because, if you look here at the bottom, it sits back in under the legs, so I am retaining all that water instead of making this mess that I've already made here, as you can see on my floor. All right, we're flowing really good. The big problem is still the punch plate thing, so we'll have to do something with that. But for now, we're going to uh, clean up and we'll use the, the uh, tub here to pan in. So let me get set up to do some stuff and I'll be back. I pulled the hopper, just pulled the pin that's laying right there on top of that tub. I don't know if you can see it right there. And the hopper over here, back it out, and I cleaned it up, and the material is in that pan right there. Not much, that's just those two riffles. I didn't even look for gold yet, but I will. As I know I said, I hadn't seen any gold in here yet, but I hadn't looked either. So if you look right there, that's a nice little piece of gold right there. And if you look... There's another piece, um, there's one, there's one, there's one, so there's good color from where this come from, and I think I remember where it is, so, but I'm not telling. All right, I'm gonna clean up the, uh, the sluice. All right guys, the sluice is clean. I mean, as clean as you can get it. I actually used the garden hose on her again. So now we've got this much material right here and uh, I'm going to figure, I'm going to pan in the tub so let me get back okay what you're looking at there is my safety pan and I'm going to put a few drops of jet dry in there and I really mean drops I'm hoping so now I can see what you're seeing and I've got my little blue riding hood coat off to keep me dry. Uh, let's see, I didn't do the jet dry right here, just a drop or so. Just a drop. There we go. Way, way lots. So let's see what this brings. That in the upper was really good. I'm really happy with that. This machine catches so much gold, it's, it's amazing, even at that steep angle. Uh, to me, 10 degrees is pretty steep. Or, no, I wasn't, I wasn't, I was eight or nine.
here it's the same ones that has the same dirty water in it. So what I'm going to do is let me do this. We'll pour that into the safety pan, most of it, and then we're going to do this. Now for that little bit of material, to me that's pretty good. found right off the bat. There's one. These are all little pieces of gold. All of this, these are all gold and a little black sand. But, you know, when it's small gold, you get a lot of black sand. So, two things you can figure on for this little run is that one, you can get a lot of really nice gold just recirculating. Let me see if I can get over here. Yeah, about right there is where you can see best, I guess. Don't dare go any bigger than that, but those are nice little pieces. So you can get really good gold recirculating. The La Trappe, oh, I'm sorry, it isn't the La Trappe, it's a GOI banker, sorry. Uh, I got the La Trappe sitting here too, and I just looked at it. Well, anyhow, it catches ultra fine gold. I mean, my goodness. Uh, let's see where can you see. These here are so small, some of these, you can't really see them. There, 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 and there. Little bitty guys. But for that little bit of gold, that was a two gallon bucket with about an inch, maybe two inches of material in the bottom from a claim. Didn't know if there was anything in it and it got it and we couldn't go outside so we had no way to run it except to recirculate so you can do that if you don't have water on a claim you can recirculate uh, on a dry claim if the like a desert's too wet you can recirculate and you can see by how much water I used that was less than the uh, 15 gallons that's probably around 12 maybe 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 14 at, at the very most gallons of water. So anyhow, I think this was a success. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share, subscribe, give it a good comment. Come back again. Thank you so much for watching. May the bottom of your pan be gold forever. This is me out.